What's good everyone, Gberg Stacks here. So today I'm gonna be talking about one of my most played mid lane champions as of right now. Since I am climbing to as high as I can get right now, I'm like I'm D3 and I'm climbing to wherever, right? So my choice is Karma. She's one of the staple picks that I'm gonna play this season because I do think she's absolutely broken and we all, you know, I made a video on Malignant's Karma uh, when the game, when this thing first came out. Uh, when Malignant's came out, and it was absolutely broken. And if you were abusing that, uh, good on you. So, Karma is, you know, there's a new iteration, right? You'll, you'll see the items as they, they come about. But I think Karma has zero counters. She has zero bad matchups, only, you know, bad champions that she will, you know, not scale as well against which are basically adc champions right because what karma does is as a support uh you know she has very strong laning phase she wins lanes and if not if you know if it's in a bad matchup right if you're going against like tristana mid and whatnot you're going to more than likely simply uh farm it out and then you make somebody else that much more of a champion right your shields and your your uh your cues and all your utility just help your team end up shining right i like picking her when my jungler picks a hard carry champion right i don't i don't look towards the bot lane or the top lane i look towards the jungle because i understand that in this game i will end up having a i will end up having like priority so wherever my jungler wants to go right i'm right there with them and you know, she's great against assassins, as you see here. I mean, Fizz isn't that, you know, good of a champion, but, uh, you know, he's a really, he's a noob stomper, right? If you don't know what you're doing, if you miss position, you're going to probably die. But Karma is a champion that ends up really not allowing that to happen with her shield, with her, if she uses her mantra W, she ends up healing, right? Uh, you, you press RW, you get the 18% of your missing health, right? And, and Fizz is someone who's, uh, trades take away half your HP every single time, right? And with that, let's go into like the build. So as you see here, I have blasting one first. Uh, that's gonna build into dawn core. And so, as you will, you know, come to find out that I'm going a very supportive build on Karma, on Karma mid. And make sure you look at the 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 skills, right? Because Three points in Q, while I, maybe it's great to max Q first, just because the cooldown goes down so low, right? It goes down by basically one second every single time. And if we go back to the build path, I end up buying Ionia Boots, uh, because to build Dawn Core, you need to get two Forbidden Idols. And at this point, Forbidden Idols isn't going to like make me that much stronger, right? It's not going to help me uh, uh, win the lane even harder, but what will help me is... Uh, is uh cd boots right so i don't know if maxing q first is the best uh, it probably is in most situations just so you have like as much wave clear as much pressure as possible i was trying out uh, a shield max early right and as you can see at level six i did not put a point into my ultimate because if you're going for like a shield build uh when you press mantra ultimate uh, on whoever the first target is the shield basically gets increased by the same amount as putting an extra point in e and putting an extra point in e is just going to be you know that much better i believe just given this like the everything that ends up increasing right the base amount and then the cooldown goes down so you can spam it more as where this whenever you put an extra point into it uh it's mostly for q damage if you're able to get you know both sides of the q it's actually ridiculous right it's plus extra 80 damage or plus extra 60 plus 90 plus an extra 150 damage which is extremely ridiculous no if you're able to get both sides of that then that's kind of why you put an extra point into it but most of the times especially if you're looking at the champions i'm going against uh it's possible right you know if you layer your cc if you you know you get a, a good rear q into a you know uh a re why is into a uh you know resolve focus resolve uh you're gonna hit both sides of your ultimate and you're gonna have a great time and so i do think though 
you know, if you're not, you know, if you really want to just go for helping your teammate, you just, you know, you just put points in, in your E. I don't think putting points in your ultimate is, is that good. As you see, Fizz, you know, Fizz was trying to kill me, right? I'm half HP. I should be in range for him to kill me or for them to kill me. Uh, they used Ignite. They had uh, Electrocute up. It doesn't matter, right? Also, Mantra, when you put points in Mantra, it really helps your wave clear on, on the melee minions. Uh, you know, you can Mantra Q them. So I'm just trying stuff out. You know, I've had other games where I'm maxing Mantra, right? Uh, you know, where I'm maxing Q. So this is just a little thing, right? Uh, six seconds on, on my shield. As of right now, it would probably be two points into shield, maybe three points. So, I mean, it's like a whole hundred shield. I think this is probably decent versus, uh, you know, assassin champions that are trying to jump on you. As you can see here, especially versus melee champions, most ranged champions versus melee is going to be a very hard matchup, right? Especially Karma, who has, uh, you know, a wonderful time versus pretty much everybody. But as you can see, uh, uh, this is a mistake. You know, I can't take these. <laughs> it's just, just push mid. Uh, but as you can see, Donkor first. I made an entire video rating every single uh, item in the game. Donkor is one of the strongest items in the game. Right? Once you buy it, without any other items in your inventory, you end up getting 70 AP and 18% healing shield power. That is absolutely massive. Right, here's a little a little fight. Uh, you know, we just kite double supports, we just kited them to death, and you know, they can't really do anything versus us. Uh, I have Aether Wisp in my bag. So, you know, there's a couple items I can end up buying with that. Uh, I believe I do end up going Arden Sensor. Because, you know, I have basically three auto attackers in my team. And I'm just trying to get, you know, super powered Breer online. Right? There's the Arden Sensor. Very good item. 50 ability power. 8% healing shield. It gives you the movement speed, which is actually incredible. You actually end up getting, like, so much uh, move speed from building a few of these support items. Which, evidently, can mean that you can actually get rid of Ionian Boots eventually. Uh, because Arden Sensor, and I do, you know, spoiler alert, I do end up going Staff of Flowing Water, which when you give it to a teammate, it ends up giving them 10, it ends up giving you and them 10% move speed. So with items, I end up having 18% move speed, which is actually very disgusting, right? Karma is a very easy champion. She is someone who I believe should be played in pro play, uh, especially, I mean, we don't really see too many like carry junglers right we don't see the we don't see the the zinzals we don't see the the breers the viegos and stuff right uh the bell baths too much anymore right because it's all about ap junglers right now and it's i think it's still decent with ap junglers right especially if you get like a senna in the bot lane if you get a uh scion you know senna senna tank whatever right uh, this this cannon is trying their best can't do anything versus me I'm a broken champion, but yeah, uh, for runes, uh, you go airy. Of course, you go airy, right? It's a very good early game rune uh, for the for the poke, and then obviously it scales with the shield, which is you know decent, right? As you can see right now, it's giving a, a basically 90 shield, 88 to be exact, and then you know you you get the the where is it? I don't even show me. It doesn't tell me how much healing shield power I have, but if I calculate it, I have, uh, what is it, 23 plus 16, I have 39, so 40% of this, uh, it's going to give like 100, 100 and, 105 shield, that's not bad, right, that on top of uh, this, 40% of this is, you basically get a 600, 700 shield, uh, you know, very, very broken item, or yeah, very broken, very broken items. Right, here we go with what I said, Staff of Flowing Water, ends up giving you 10% move speed. So eventually, especially, you know, once you get to six items, you're not farming anymore. All you're asking for, I end up misplaying right here, he ends up killing me. I could have just ran away at one point. Uh, I end up wasting my flash. Uh, but yeah, you see, even, uh, I, I didn't end up using my Mantra W. Nasus doing Nasus things. Uh, yeah, this is where I'm a little you know weary about what items should i build i do believe going moonstaff and echoes of helia are actually really good here 
Uh, Echoes of Helia is just a pretty good item, right? Whenever you damage a champion, you grant a soul shard up to maximum of two. And then whenever you heal or shield an ally, it consumes all of them. Uh, and then you get 75 health and you deal 60 mana damage per shard. So, as you can see here, I don't know when she bought this, but it's done a decent amount of healing. It's done a decent amount of damage. It's pretty good. Moonstone's another one where since you have chain uh, shields, right? Since you have AoE shields, they end up, you know, just bolstering themselves. It's very, very strong. And, you know, obviously Redemption is decent, but, excuse me, Redemption doesn't give AP. And, like, she has very good AP ratios. Her E is, has a 60 AP ratio. And when you Mantra, has an additional 45. Uh, and then it gives 45 to everybody else where uh, your Q has a 70% AP ratio that's not bad right every 10 will give you an extra 7 damage so even something as low as 40 AP gives you an extra 28 even something as low as 30 gives you an extra 21 damage or yeah yeah, yeah 21 damage what am I saying which is very good right uh, look these are very cheap items I'm at three items, right? I'm ahead of everybody besides Breer who has nine kills. And like, if I farmed, you know, perfectly, uh, this this game would be uh, that much easier. But I think she's someone that's super good, right? In especially because in solo queue, you're gonna see people with, oh, uh, people want to be the carries, right? And so, uh, it's a little bit you're gonna like you're gonna win lane, but. The later the game goes, you're going to feel useless because you're, you know, you're not necessarily just a shield bot, but your damage isn't going to be, you know, like a fed mage, a fed assassin or whatever. And so it's a little difficult. She has not too many mechanics, but, you know, you have to manage your, you have to use your spells in order to lower your, the cooldown of your ultimate so that uh, you can, you know, continuously press RE. That's basically what you want to do every single time with this build. This is a, a shield build, right? Where you're buffing up your teammates. And that's pretty much it. So there's not too much to say here. Uh, you know, I ended up getting this. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see anything happen with it. But that's it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. I doubt you're going to enjoy this because playing against this is not fun. But playing as it is, you know, it's pretty fun watching them just not know what to do versus you because you kind of just win trades. You outrange a lot of champions and the champions that outrange you, you just press your shield and you dodge their abilities or you tank their abilities and just clear the waves while they're trying to hit you. Uh, you know, it, it's it's very, very fun. It's annoying. You know in a sense and i definitely recommend it if you're trying to climb uh you know mid lane it makes it that much easier the biggest counters are ad mid lanes right if you're going against solution it's not going to be as good if you're going against if you're going against a zeri it's going to be completely fine uh she will kind of outscale you though right uh you know if you're not able to coordinate with your jungler or if the game goes you know pretty bad uh she will probably end up just getting into a time where you know champions like that they're just gonna get into uh, a you know a, a time and it's just gonna get to a time in the game where they're just gonna do more than what you can you know put your shields forth unless your team you know does something really good and you know ends up winning some fights somehow with your shields then it, it's really strong but you will always be ahead in items uh, as long as you're even because your items are cheaper and your items actually do a little bit more right first item can be Arden sensor if you have a you know auto attack based uh carry that you want to you know buff up if you have somebody like a gwen in the jungle if you have somebody like a lily in the jungle staff of flowing water of course i don't think there's any other like support item i tried imperial mandate i don't like it i don't think it does enough like this gives so much ap as you see right here it's giving me 115 ap that's absolutely ridiculous and so yeah i hope you know, you learn something, uh, you know, if you want to flame anybody for this, flame me. I'm somebody who, <laughs> I love Karma. She's one of the easiest champions in the game, right? You want free LP, you can play easy champions. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong about that, right? You're, you're, you're doing the best thing to win. Uh, I'm trying to play Yasuo. 
he's pretty fun. He's, you know, relatively strong. There's decent champions in the game for, you know, this guy to play. Uh, to have a good, you know, spot inside the game. So, I'm trying to learn him. I'm playing, like, Grasp Yasuo. It's it's not bad. I don't know. Like, I don't know. You usually get, like, 30 stacks. Uh, that gives you, like, 210 HP or something. Uh, which is, you know, it's not bad at all. There's no more uh, Lord Dominics with the, the Giant Slayer passive. So, it's good to, you know, stack HP. Uh, I'm going to normal build. But, yeah, that, that's another video. If I ever get good at it, maybe I can, you know... Uh, show what happened so thank you uh yeah another champion coming through uh next peace have a great day uh, don't do anything bad stop flaming me i'm just kidding flame me all you want i don't really take it too seriously but you know make sure it's it's good flame not not some you know some dumb stuff right uh so thank you have a great day no one's free until we're all free and i'll see you on the next one peace